is it about the bug youth who organize things always on Saturday mornings? <laughs> I mean, like, you know, I've been talking to you people before you were even studying, right? I was, you know, I'm, before you were even a lawyer, I was already doing this kind of stuff, and it used to be so, you know, always so early in the morning, it's, on a weekend, it's cruel. <laughs> and it's so boring now, isn't it? Uh, it's so, I mean, this is so boring, right? I mean, it used to be, you come to these things as a little frisson of excitement. You know, I'm being bad. You know, I'm being naughty. I'm going to be anti-government. It's so, you know, it's so naughty. You know, it feels a bit sexy. But now I'm sharing the stage with, a, you know, someone from the ruling party. It's horrible. Um, <laughs> it's so dull. Uh, oh, there's, there's no excitement. And then why on earth do you invite Andy? No, seriously, why on earth do you invite Andy, all right? Okay, first he's from the party which is the least repulsive party in the Barisan National. All right, and then secondly, I've known him for many years and he's a good dude. I cannot mock him. I, you, know, you, you know, you should have been... Why, where, where's Kairi? Why is Kairi not here? I want to mock him, man. I want to stand here and make fun of him because, come on, it's only been a month, all right? It's only been a month. They've had it for 60 years. We deserve to mock them. To make fun of them, all right? <laughs> oh yeah, opposition. What opposition? Um, I mean, on, honestly, what what you know, at this stage we don't have an opposition at all because what are they going to give us as an alternative, right? I mean, what on earth? And he's right. The credibility issue is huge because what you know what they're gonna come up and suddenly you know someone. I'm uh, going to say, um, you have to be careful about corruption. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, dude. Yeah, yeah. No, we are against corruption. We are in opposition. We will make sure you are not corrupt. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, sure. Of, of course. I mean, what, what, what are you going to offer the people of Malaysia right now? We must go back to having a lot more race issues raised. Because that's all we are about, okay? Let's let's go back to being racist, because that's what we want. I mean, honestly, what, what are they gonna, you know, uh, you know? And, and now you can see them desperately fighting for credibility, right? This is why I want to I want to see KJ here, because he's the most desperate of them all, right? It's hilarious, you know. Oh, I knew something was wrong, but I didn't say anything. I'm so sorry, I didn't say anything. I was busy drinking cool aid. I mean, come on, man. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry, you know. Are these the kind of people who's, who's gonna, gonna give us a credible opposition? No, of course not. Um, <laughs> okay, so, right, Abidin, you already spoke about parliamentary reform, that's cool. Um, uh, civil society, uh, Maria spoke about civil society. But, you know, it's quite funny because civil society, I mean, it's not just. Uh, NGOs and stuff like that. Um, civil society includes anyone, you know, um, really. And, and then some of these people, you know, from my from my bidang, right, from the educationist perspective, you know, some of these guys are just they just crack me up because they have you know uh, zero uh, strength of conviction. Okay, two weeks before the election, it was um, yes, Najib is heading in the right direction. We are doing the right thing. You know, these are professors, huh? Full professors, not like me. You know, I'm not a full professor, right? You know, just associate only. Right, okay, but you know, you have full professors, majlis professor, Nagara, and all that. You know, going, oh, you know, this is, this is the country is going in the right direction. Najib is a good leader. You know, two weeks later, it's, oh, this change is good for the country. You know, you don't even have the strength of your own conviction to stick to whatever it is that you were saying before. You would switch and you would sway according to where the wind blows. So there, you know, when we talk about civil society, let's ro not romanticize civil society. There's some real dungus in civil society, and most of them have doctorates. <laughs> so what can we do, right? Okay, so you know, now that I've said, uh, you know, the, the opposition at the moment, uh, I'm, yeah. And they absolutely like that. They're zero credibility. It's very difficult for them to do anything. It'll take time. It'll take new faces. It'll also take new faces. It's got to be people that you don't associate immediately with the last regime. 
And, and at the moment, unfortunately, I mean, definitely with Amno, you associate every single one of them, tiap tiap satu ekor tu, with the last regime. All right, so it's, it's very it's very hard, you know, to, to you know to for, for them to talk about separation of powers, independence of the judiciary, you know, all this, you know, all the stuff that you want. Okay, you, we can't hear it from the opposition politicians because it's ludicrous. I mean, they're so desperate now. They're talking about making MCA and Amno multiracial parties. That's like saying I want to open a vegetarian steakhouse. Okay, it, it, it doesn't make sense. Your reason that your entire reason for existing is to be race based. That's why you're oh, we're going to be non race based. So you know about what the United Malay? No, not Malay National Organization. You're going to change that, is it? I mean, the Malay Chinese Association. Come on, right? It's 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 an act of desperation. But you know, let them be like, okay, it's yeah. Anyway, so what can we? You know, so what do we need? All right. Um, while this new, they haven't even sat in parliament yet, right? They haven't even sat in parliament. So, uh, really, I want to see the, the, the promises that they've made fulfilled because it's very, very important. Uh, the, the, we have to make sure that there's um, uh, uh, the Printing Presses Publications Act. You know, all the laws that we complain about, they're still there, right? Those laws, are, they still exist and they have to go, all right? And we have to make sure that the Pakatan Harapan government gets rid of them. All right, um, because you never know. I mean, like Barisan might win again, and then you know if these things are still there. Okay, right now you sense that you don't feel like it's there anymore. Okay, so like you know, um, uh, you, you you see mainstream media being more open, etc. And it's you know it, you know for the first time in 25 years, I watch RTM one. <laughs> You know, I, I actually tell oh, RTM, right? you know, interviewing interesting people. You know, so you know, you, it feels different, right? You know, the whole place feels different. But I'm telling you, the laws are still there, and it's so easy to slip back to the old ways. So we've got to get rid of that. Uh, multimedia and TV. You know, <laughs> my ex lawyer is now minister. Of <laughs> Go Bim. You know, he hasn't called me you know, ever since he won. <laughs> you know, I was, in, I was I'm, I'm so upset. All right, I, I, I'm, I'm sitting there waiting day after day. When am I going to be a crony? When am I going to be a crony? And the bugger never calls me. You know, I mean, like, you know, what's the point of having friends in high places when they forget you as soon as they get to high places? You know, and, uh, hey, no, 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 no. I still like him. Don't, 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 don't. I might need him again. All right, but are you going to be in Okay, so you know, a, a freer television. You know. It, these kind of things we need, you know, um, and we need it entrenched in law so that it cannot be taken away, easily at least. Uh, how about Freedom of Information Act for the whole country? That would be really, really good. And FOI, because, you know, the FOI that we have right now in uh, Penang and Selangor is quite weak because it's still subservient to the national laws, which include the Official Secrets Act. Right, so we need to look at the Official Secrets Act. We need to look at the freedom of, uh, to look at adding a freedom of information law, so that the opposition can work better, whoever the opposition might be in whatever form. Right? Okay. So there's less secrets in, in governance. Now within government itself, also, I think there can be some things done, and I, I and, and I hope it will be done, where there's actually check and balance within the government itself. Okay. Um, you know so. Uh, in in the past, it's as you know, uh, it, it's been too. The, the power has been too centered into on one person, right? The prime minister is so powerful, too powerful, all right. And and it be, it, 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 and it's partly because of our feudal nature, right? It's partly because of our feudal nature that the leader becomes something godlike, all right? Okay, I mean, you know, wasn't it disgusting immediately after the elections? You know, the sudden godlike worship of Mahade. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, you know, legend lah, you need like, come on lah, please lah. You know, it's, it's kind of gross to me, you know. I mean, the, you know, immediately people were, you know, much like he can do no wrong. You know, tiba tiba the guy can walk on water. It's this kind of thinking which we have to get rid of, but more importantly, okay, it's difficult to change the country, but the cabinet, for example, have to make sure that they work as a cabinet and not as some sultanate. All right. Okay. And then we can bring back, I mean, the whole idea, our entire democratic system, our entire parliamentary system is based on the British parliamentary system, which means that the prime minister is actually first amongst equals. 
The Prime Minister is not something unique because the Prime Minister does not get his or her mandate separately from everyone else. The Prime Minister is merely a member of Parliament which the House has confidence in to lead the government. Unlike a president who's elected separately, yeah, and th therefore the mandate of the president comes from the electorate, the mandate of the prime minister actually comes from the parliament. So, the, so we have to, you know, it would be nice, it would be good, you know, actually it's absolutely vital that we go back to really having a prime minister who is merely first amongst equals and not some dewa sitting on top of a mountain issuing orders. And that is for the Pakatan MPs and the Pakatan cabinet uh, ministers to make sure that this happens. Alright, so that's something that they can do within. Now, I'm hoping that Pakatan succeeds for a long, long time and continues for a long time because this is our only hope to move away from business as usual. We need to have Pakatan successful, not so much because you know, one supports one political uh, coalition over another political coalition, but we need them successful so that we can change the narrative of politics in the country. We need them to be successful so that people can see, ah yes, economy can grow, uh, things can be better for everyone without, for example, being overly obsessed about race and religion. So, you know, this is an opportunity for the, go for the government that sits now to change the way we talk about politics. To move away from the old stuff, all right, and 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 so that in the future, when we you know when 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 uh, you know uh, the, the the opposition gets the act together, and I'm hoping it's quite a few years down the ro the road, at least the arguments that we will have, the political arguments that we will have, will be based on debates which are debates on policy, debates on ideas, as opposed to the usual nonsense that we have now, uh, which is you know, totally obsessed uh, with uh, uh, race and religion. All right? So we need to have a change in our politics, and, 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 and therefore, once we have a change in our politics, we will have actually a very a, a huge paradigm shift in the, in the form of opposition that we have as well. And that could only be much healthier than what we've had to suffer with for the last easily 30, 40 years. Thank you very much.